I'd like to thank everybody for showing up this morning. Uh, this is a very important award for us, and we're very proud to accept it. I'd first like to mention my employees back there. If you guys could raise your hands. I introduced the congressman to my wife, and so he met the brains behind the operation. That's the brawn. So <laughs> that's my wife back there. If she just say hi. But great support, great family and friends. Um, very excited for this day. So I'd just like to touch briefly on exporting and uh, how important it's been for us and what we've learned. And it's amazing when you go to a foreign country, and our, we've been to, to sell our boats in foreign countries to train people how to use our boats. They've come here and seen our people and, and see our boats. And the one overriding theme that we've got from this is around the world they want quality okay but they they are very specific they want American quality and we can deliver it and so my vendors are here it's very very important uh, partners are here my employees we're doing it they're, they're coming and they're buying from us and our products are going all over the world and I was very very thankful to, to all of you to be able to do that and with that I'd like to introduce Sharon Hillstrom from the EDC Thank you. On behalf of the Bradenton Area Economic Development Corporation, I am so pleased to be here today to celebrate the international exporting success of Han Power Boats. Our organization has enjoyed a great working relationship with, with Han Power Boats since their move to Bradenton Area a few years ago. Um, I distinctly remember our first meeting and I was so impressed with the cool customized boats that they had here. Han Power Boats is a perfect example of a business that knew they needed to diversify to grow and thus successfully pursued exporting their boats to international customers. So other businesses in Manatee County should take notice because <laughs> they too can connect with international markets to grow revenues and as those revenues grow create new jobs for our local residents just as Han Power Boats did. Local economies need businesses that sell their goods and services outside the local market because they diversify our local economy and bring new wealth to our community. A little windy today. <laughs> While exports are still a relatively small segment of our local economy, there is huge potential. In fact, the economic impact from exports is growing in the Manatee Sarasota region. Between 2007 and 2011, exports from the Northport Sarasota Bradenton MSA grew 27.5%. Our region offers key elements that global businesses need. Ex excellent access to interstate highways, international airports, and a robust regional workforce. The Bradenton area has proven its viability as a location for export related businesses and has a competitive edge with available industrial and commercial properties, a very business friendly environment, and Port Manatee, the deepest, deep, the deepest, uh, excuse me, the a deep water port that's closest in the U.S. to the Panama Canal. Our organization's new tagline, Think Global, Think Bradenton Area, is a big idea. <laughs> My goodness. That's right on target, as evidenced by the global reach of Han Power Boats. Congratulations to Russ, Kevin, and their entire team for pursuing and achieving this exporting opportunity and for, for, for the deserved honor as the only Florida firm featured in the U.S. Commercial Services Annual Report. Thank you. Good morning and thank you all for coming. My name is Rebecca Torres and I'm a foreign commercial officer with the U.S. Department of Commerce. Our agency focuses on export promotion to help companies like Han Power Boats expand their sales internationally. This is the third anniversary of the President's National Export Initiative, which was signed in 2010. In 2009, exports represented $1.58 trillion. Now, 
in the most recent reported year, 2012, that number has grown to $2.2 trillion. What does that mean in terms of jobs? That represents 10 million jobs that are supported by international business. I'm very pleased to be here with Han Powerboats. I started working with them back in 2011 as they started their international pursuits, primarily in Africa. Um, and they've been a wonderful company to work with. The Export Achievement Award that we're giving to them this morning is was created in 2001 to recognize small and medium-sized enterprises that have successfully entered the international market. And at this time, I'd like to introduce Congressman Vern Buchanan. Thank you. I want to thank uh, Rebecca. I've had a chance to work with her, but we don't get en enough uh, in terms of businesses locally that are doing exporting. So I'm so excited about this award, and they just don't give these awards out. So let's give a big round of applause to our the company here, Hans uh, Power Boats. And I also want to recognize Manatee County and the economic development because everybody knows that in our region it's a lot about tourism and home building and construction. We need more jobs in manufacturing and we especially need more jobs in terms of exporting. I'm on the, the trade committee uh, for the Ways and Means Committee and I can just tell you, just getting back from China, their goal, I met with the Minister of Trade and I met with a Vice Premier, they're looking to create 20 million new jobs a year for the next seven years. That's what they've been averaging. That's what they said, 20 new million jobs a year. They're going to get a lot of those jobs for exporting. So we, this is a global economy. We've got to find a way to raise our game, and it starts right here in Manatee County. I'd also mention 95% of the jobs are outside of the U.S. I mean, 95% of the, the opportunity uh, are outside the U.S. And the president mentioned a couple of times in his remarks, he wants to double exports. So that's why I'm so excited about being here today. This is a step in the right direction and I mentioned to uh, the the owners and some of the managers here I'm going to do everything I can to make sure the Navy and the Air Force gets their fair share but I'm more important I'm more excited about selling more to Africa Central America South America so again let's give them one more big round of applause and with that let's if we can have them come forward Rebecca let's give them their their award on the other side Again, okay, congratulations. Great. Let's give them all a round of applause and all the employees back there because you can't get jobs unless you've got small companies and entrepreneurs doing what they're doing. Thank you Thank very you. much. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you very much. Thank very you. nice to meet yeah. you. Thank you. Okay, well, that's it. Uh, thank you all for attending. And again, we're very, very excited to accept this award. And everybody, have a good day. Thank you. For those of you who are uh, part of Manatee County and the business community, and if you're thinking about uh, expanding the international market, um, I placed a call to the Economic Development uh, Council. And uh, Mary and uh, Sharon came out and met with us. And it was a kind of an exciting meeting. Uh, we were going through a lot of different things over the course of an hour and a half. And they said, uh, well, gee, you need to get introduced to this person and this person, and we'll set this up, and uh, you need to talk to these folks, and we'll call these folks and set up the appointments. And, you know, we, we departed, and I thought that was really exciting, and, and wouldn't it be nice if it actually happened? Well, one of the people they were to put me in contact with was uh, Rebecca. And literally within 48 hours, my telephone was ringing. Rebecca was on the phone. She said, I talked to Mary Chilton. I need to come down and meet with you. I'm going to bring the folks from E Florida over with me. Sharon's coming over. Mary's coming over. Let, can we do this next week? I was just flabbergasted. Here is a branch of the U.S. government that worked immediately. <laughs> Absolutely immediately. Rebecca and her team have just been incredible help for us on the international 
uh, basis. And it all happened because we had an economic development uh, council at the local level who was interested in building business, knew who to t talk to, who to put us in touch with, and they did it. I mean, that was just incredible. The whole EDC team, if, if you're not in touch with them and you're here in Manatee County, you're missing a big, big business link. Rebecca and her team have uh, worked with us with embassies around the world. And uh, we get an inquiry about a, f about a foreign purchaser. My first call is to Rebecca. She puts me in touch with the appropriate embassy. We vet the customer before we even talk to the customer. Because we, uh, honestly, we build boats that the bad guys would like to get our hands on. But through the U.S. Commercial Service, through the U.S. State Department, and through the U.S. Department of Defense, we vet our customers before we even talk to them. That's a huge effort in a, in a whole period since 2011 of declining federal budgets. And let me tell you, folks, there's elements within the U.S. federal government that work for business, and they help business be successful. I want to thank all of you. We're going to lose Rebecca because she's got a new assignment coming up in Mexico City. Uh, I hope we have a good replacement for her. Uh, and uh, we want the congressman to know that there are elements of the U.S government despite what everybody says that really do work and work well for business you need to come to my town hall. <laughs> <laughs> so the, our crew makes it all happen we have partners over here who have uh, put engines in the boats that are already deployed uh, around the world we have our vendors here who are, who are putting engines in new boats uh, we've got our fiberglass uh, vendors here uh, we've got a lot of folks who have made this happen that support us our bankers here. Uh, it really shows that the community can work together and make a help, help make a business very successful. We thank you all for coming. There's water and soft drinks over here. Uh, please have some. Uh, if you didn't get to go through a tour of the facility, I'll be happy to take anybody who would like to walk through and uh, show them a little bit about what we're doing. Thank you very much. Well, this is about jobs in Manatee County, and the most important thing to me, it's about jobs uh, here that we're going to be exporting in Africa and other countries around the world. 95% of the marketplace is outside of the U.S. The president's mentioned he wants to double exports. So I'm very excited. It's an entrepreneur that picked up an idea, and now they're building power boats around the world. And it's very exciting. Not only they're building it for uh, different uh, folks in the security business, but also for our Air Force and our Navy here in Manatee County. We've got an excellent leadership in terms of the economic development. It's, this has been a community effort uh, in terms of not only the economic development, but the U.S. Chamber uh, is down here working. And, uh, and then you see a lot of people, other manufacturers and people that support the business and the employees. So it's been a team effort, local banks, everybody working together to try to create more jobs at a company I think that has a lot of promise. They've had a lot of success, but they're going to have more success going forward. Okay, my name is Rebecca Torres. I'm a foreign commercial officer within the U.S. Department of Commerce, which is the export promotion agency for the government. I'm here today to give an Export Achievement Award to Han Powerboats as they are a small business in the area that have increased their international sales to the point of being 60% of their total sales revenue. Um, we have been assisting Han Power Boats in vetting a lot of the inquiries they receive. Since they do make go-fast patrol boats, they've been approached by various parties around the world. What we do is we help put them in touch with our counterparts at embassies around the world to vet these requests to make sure that they're legitimate, that they're coming from the right people, that they are indeed coming from a, a foreign government. They're, it's they're it, very, the reason very, that exporting is important is because as Congressman Buchanan mentioned that 95% of the world's consumers live outside the U.S. It's very important for U.S. businesses to tap into that resource in order to grow their sales. It's kind of like diversifying your portfolio. You don't want all of your sales in one country. Ergo, you don't want everything in the United States. You want to have a good portion of it outside the U.S. 
Well, you can contact us at the Clearwa in Clearwater, the U.S. Export Assistance Center. But what I would say to all businesses is don't be afraid of exporting. That's what we're here for. We're here to take the pain and the trepidation out of the process. We will walk you through the process. We'll make sure that we put you in touch with international bankers, with attorneys, with everything you need in order to make a successful transition into the export market. Well, one of the core um, missions of our organization is to connect with our existing companies that are here so that we can support them when they're looking to grow and expand. And in meeting with Russ and Kevin at Han Powerboats, we could see that there was an opportunity for international trade um, with some support. So we connected them with the U.S. Commercial Service and they were able to support them as they pursued their exporting opportunities. And as a result, landed contracts and were able to uh, retain and also um, hire more uh, employees, which, which is always great news for our community. Well, our focus as an organization is on those companies that export the vast majority of their products. So outside of the region, they're selling their goods and services. So what happens then is we have new dollars coming into our community, and those are um, creating new wealth in the community, helps those existing businesses that are here, like restaurants and dry cleaners and grocery stores, et cetera. So it's important to diversify the economy by bringing those kinds of companies or helping those kind of companies that are already here expand. Well, we've been on a couple of trade missions. Uh, we were in Panama a couple years ago, and also myself and um, someone, Karen Stewart from the county, and a representative from Port Manatee traveled uh, on the Team Florida mission to Brazil. And so we provide opportunities for our companies also to go on those trade missions to seek opportunities for international trade because it can be rather complicated and it's really important to understand what the cultures are in these foreign countries so that you can expedite a deal and everybody ends up doing really well from the process. Well, we're continuing to export this year. We plan on exporting 14 vessels. Um, we're opening up new markets. We're going into Saudi Arabia this year and hopefully South America. So that's where we're really going to push, continue to export, but also we're going to grow our local base and we're going to get into local uh, recreational boat building uh, for fishermen and sportsmen and that type. So we're very excited to, to be growing as a corporation. Certainly the, the export award is very, very large for us and it's, been, it's made us what we are today, no doubt. We do. The EDC has been tremendous with the resources they've devoted to help, helping us find skilled people. Um, we're a little bit different as a company. What we hire are well-rounded individuals, so they are familiar with all aspects of boat building. Um, we don't have any very specialized individuals who do just one thing. They need to be able to do everything that keeps our over overhead low and allows us to build a very good quality product and get it out the door. So my people are very well-rounded, and I'm sure as you heard Kevin spoke, very well-spoken, educated, and just good, good workers. I would say you absolutely can export your product, and I would start with the EDC and tell them that you want to find new markets for your product. They'll put you in touch with the U.S. Department of Commerce, and as Kevin mentioned, my vice president, it is a branch of the government that works. They work for us. They've, they've gr helped us grow our company to where we are today. And I encourage you to use that resource. It's there for you, so use it.